down Down that old familiar road Down Where the fables are all told in my head Dreaming of things to do instead of dreaming Down Past the tourists and I've lived on the island about 32 years. I've lived on the island for 10 years. I've lived on the island for 41 years. Really, the thing about living on the island that means the most to me is the people. We have a really diverse group of people over here, which is kind of cool. We have a lot of artists, we have a lot of people who just enjoy being outside. Kind of crazy people too, like someone was out windsurfing today. It was like five degrees and rainy, <laughs> but you know, they're out there doing it, so. It's also a really interesting community because of the concentration of creative people that I, that I think makes it a bit unusual. It's not like your typical small town. Every day of your life, you're weaving their stories together with your story, and there are all these interlacing connections that grow and deepen over time. It reminds me of a herd of elephants, because when one elephant is not well, the elephants cluster and gather and help them, and that's kind of what happens on the island. You get to meet some really interesting people who love the island. Even just the boat rides. If that's all you experience of the island, uh, just constantly being on the same boat with the same group of people has really changed me. It's really shown me a sense of community that you might not get up their places. The biggest challenge of living on the island might be the boat schedule. I mean, you've got a, you've got a curfew at night. You can't get home after 11.15 or 11.30. Someone in the city can just run to the convenience store and like, pick up whatever they want, really. Whereas if we don't have something, we don't have it, and we're not going to have it till the next time we go in the city, really. There are no shops on the island, there's no convenience, but I don't really mind that. You just have to organize your life that way, but you know, really, that's, that's not such a big deal. I know my neighbors, you can always go down the street and ask for a bag of milk. You can always count on someone to have something. <laughs> I really feel that I've met a lot of people who helped me understand how community works. I think living on the island has given me a lot more freedom, probably. Generally, as a population, we're a lot more carefree. The way the community on the island works is unlike any other place I've been. But it's for you.